plant and bees have co-evolved for millions of years. Humans have domesticated plants and moved them around the world for cultivation, and in this process, many organisms that interact with these plants in their native ranges have been moved around as well. We know of many examples of plant insect herbivores that have later become pests and pathogens that have been spread around the world with crops and have had devastating consequences for food production. However, we know very little about how the movement of crops has facilitated range expansions of pollinators. The squash, pumpkins, and gourds offer a fascinating system to study the question of how domestication and widespread cultivation of crops has shaped the evolutionary trajectories of pollinators. This crop was first domesticated in southern Mexico about 10,000 years ago and moved around North America several thousand years after. About 2,000 years ago, squash was part of a large-scale agricultural system across North America, which was combined with other important crops like maize. But unlike maize, squash plants depend on insect pollinators for the reproduction, as the male and female reproductive parts of these plants are found in separate flowers. This means that for the flowers to get pollinated, they must be visited by insects for the pollen to be moved from the anthers of the male flowers to the stigmas of the female flowers. And while many insects, mostly bees, visit squash flowers and provide pollination services to this crop, in their native ranges, which includes southern U.S., Mexico, Central, and South America, these plants interacted with a group of bees that evolve a high degree of especialization. These bees, commonly known as squash bees, comprise a group of about 22 species that are found all throughout the Americas, where squash plants are native from. In North America, the most abundant squash bee is Usra prinosa, which is currently widespread in the United States and Southern Canada. In many of these areas, there are no records of wild squash plants before indigenous peoples introduced them to northern latitudes for cultivation. In my lab at Penn State, we have been studying the ecology and evolution of these bees to understand when the bees move to North America, the evolutionary consequences of this range expansion, and how bees have adapted to the environmental conditions in agricultural areas that are drastically different from their ancestral ranges in the deserts of the southwest of the U.S. and northern Mexico. We recently sequenced the genome of this bee and have been studying the patterns of genetic variation at a genomic scale to better understand the demographic history of these species. We have found that squash bees were able to move to eastern North America when indigenous populations started cultivating squash in these areas as part of large-scale agriculture around 2,000 years ago. The second main finding is that the creation of habitats where the floral resources for these bees were super abundant facilitated the super exponential increase of the population sizes of these bees. And the third main finding is that the populations of these bees in eastern North America where they inhabit agricultural areas show strong signatures of selection in 20% of their genomes. While we still do not know functionally what these adaptive processes mean, our studies reveal that these bees have adapted to the new ecological niches that humans have created through the expansion of agriculture. Through our studies of this system, we have demonstrated that first, human cultivation of crops have facilitated geographic range expansion of pollinators. Second, that expansion of agriculture has had a positive impact for some pollinator species that can effectively use crop flowers as food resources. And third, squash bees have adapted to these ecosystems in profound ways and provide an example of a resilient pollinator to the ecological changes of the Anthropocene, which is defined as the period during which human activities have been the dominant influence on climate and the environment. There are over 4,000 species of bees in North America, and we know very little about 99% of those bees. With pollinator decline being a pressing issue for food security, I hope some of you will be motivated to study the ecology and evolution of bees.